Now I'm going to show you how this um, powder measure bolts onto a uh, press. So what I have here is a Lee Classic Cast turret press and I currently have a um, a large rifle charging die from Lee. So this can accommodate a uh, 223 Remington brass up to a um, 308 um, case or a 30 odd six case, which I currently have here. So basically, when you get the the auto drum, all you do is basically put it on top of the rifle charging die, and then you'll have to turn this until it tightens. A little difficult with uh, using it one hand because I'm using uh, currently my uh, normal uh, video cam that I would use uh, is out of battery so I'm using my my uh, phone sorry about that so as you notice is this is actually a safety switch so what happens is that every time that you this is just basically prevents it from from you having a double charge if you're not paying attention um, but usually on a rifle case, if you're using a extruded powder or a stick powder, uh, chances of you having a double charge is pretty slim because the powder will just overflow from the case. Uh, usually a 30 odd six will take about, if you look for a Garand, it will take about 48 grains of powder and it's already gonna be filling up near just below the shoulder of this uh, 30, 30 odd six uh, case. So in any case, I'll show you how this safety feature works. So you should pull on to the, if you pull the, um, the, the lever down, oops, if you pull the lever down, you'll notice that it gets actuated, right? But it doesn't really throw any uh, powder into the case. So what you have to do for this particular case is that you have to press this to reset the uh, the switch so that the drum can actually open up and drop a powder charge into the case. So if I press the uh, the lever down again on the press, there you go. See, it snaps back, so it resets. So if I do it again, no powder will will actually um, get uh, dumped into the case again especially if uh, you get distracted by somebody when you're reloading. So to reset it again so that you can actually drop another set of uh, powder charge, let's say you're putting a new case in, press this, resets it, push the ram down, drops powder, there you go, and it's done. But there's a way to uh, disable this if you, don't, you, if you find this uh, inconvenient and if it slows you down in terms of um, uh, reloading but nothing beats a visual check whenever you uh, reload just double check to see if there's any uh, powder inside the uh, cartridge to make sure that it's, it's within the normal capacity that you would uh, observe for your charge And then, of course, the hopper goes in. It's, it has this, this key right here. Right here, if you can see that. Let's see, focus that. There, this one here. And it actually goes on top of this hopper. So. There you go. And then you can turn on and off this hopper. I can't do it with one hand right now, but you'll have to take my word for it. 